Hello friends, it's time for Thought Shifting Thursdays, and we're running a little bit late here, we usually start at 12 noon, um, <clears throat> but we're ready to go. And it's going to be short today, we're getting ready for our retreat on Catalina Island, but I want to talk to you about physical healing, and the reason I want to talk to you about that is because my elbow is hurting right now, my knee is hurting, left shoulder, and um, foot's bothering me a little bit. So <clears throat> I just want to tell you my practice of what has worked for me over the years and I've healed from chronic illness, healed from cancer, and so now um, someone's coming on. Leslie, all right. Hey, I just saw your, uh, I'll answer your text in a few minutes, Leslie. Good to see you. <clears throat> so, talking about physical healing. Um, so here's n three elements to, that I found important, essential for physical healing. One is not resisting because when we resist anything we build up tension um, when I'm resisting the way it is if I'm resisting the pain in my heel in my uh, in my elbow it's creating friction it's creating tension and guess what it's not good for my immune system so I'm actually um, thwarting the natural healing process that the the body will do if I just let it do its thing so number one um, non-attachment, non-resistance, just let go, accept it the way it is. Number two, <clears throat> be in gratitude. So, in other words, I could be, I could be in dissatisfaction, hating the fact that my elbow is hurting. When I just went to uh, wash my hair in the shower, it hurt to do that, right? <clears throat> or, excuse me. <clears throat> Sorry, a little frog there. Or I can be in gratitude that I have an elbow, I have an arm. Not everyone does. Not everyone has use of their arms, right? So, um, so be in gratitude for all the blessings in life. And if you want to really extend that, be grateful for what I call radical gratitude. Grateful for the situation as it is. Um, and what that means is to ask this question. What is the greater freedom, joy, love, power, any spiritual quality that wants to emerge from this experience of having a hurt elbow, a painful elbow. So I'm going to ask that question of myself uh, right in this moment. So number one, what instantly comes to me, and this is my favorite thing about injuries or illness, is how amazing the healing process is and how unless it's going to kill me, <laughs> and, and that's a healing as well, um, at the point that this physical body ends its existence, it will be a healing. I'll be completely and totally free, right? That's a whole other subject, though, we'll get into it another time, is embracing death, the ultimate non-attachment, right? Um, but if it doesn't kill me, then it's going to get better, right? Even if I do nothing to help it, it's going to get better. That's what the body knows how to heal itself. Um, so that's number two, is just being in gratitude. Oh, yes, being radical gratitude, right? Being in gratitude for, for what can come out of this experience. So I just lo absolutely love to watch and observe the healing as it moves forward. And uh, I've got Leslie and some names I don't know, but welcome everyone. <laughs> so, um, talking about physical healing, I'm going to review. Number one is non-resistance, not resisting the experience, embracing it. When we embrace, if you've watched my videos, you hear me say this all the time, whatever we, whatever we resist not only persists but magnifies. If I resist pain, it becomes more painful. Whatever we embrace, becomes our ally, our teacher, and our healer. Embrace it with love. My wife was having uh, a lot of knee pain. And um, two things about that, and that'll lead me into the third thing, is I, I watched her, and she was talking to her knee, saying, I love you, right? So that's so embracing. Taking it, embracing to the extreme is bring love to it. Resistance Wanting it to go away is the opposite of loving it. Bring love to whatever you're resisting, whether it be a physical pain, an emotional uh, discomfort, or a situation in your life. Um, the other thing that my wife said, 
Around that same time, we were in the sweat lodge, and she said these words, I am a healer, and I am going to heal at 100%. That's positive mindset. It was shortly after that, I think within the next week, that she discovered stem cells, and then um, I don't remember how long it took for her to actually get it done, healed her knees. Um, so now, if she wouldn't have had that positive mindset, it cost us $12,000 to get this treatment done. Well worth it to both of us, right? Happy wife, happy life. <laughs> and, um, and for her, happy knees, and uh, you know, life's a lot better. She couldn't go upstairs. Um, if she was not in a positive mindset, she would have either not discovered that, ignored it, or thought it cost too much money, right? I'll do something else. I'll, you know, whatever. I'll just keep getting these injections she's been getting. So, uh, positive mindset. So, simply trusting. You know, the opposite of resistance is trust. Trusting and knowing that this is going to heal. I may not, I don't have to know the how, right? I just have to know it's going to heal at 100%. It may not heal at 100%, but the more positive one is, the more success we're going to have, right? So the reason I'm practicing this today or sharing this with you today is because I know I need to do these practices for myself with these uh, injuries that every injury I've ever had is healed, and I know these will too. And... Um, and even if they don't, I'm going to be in joy no matter what. So um, that's it for today. We're doing a short one today because we're getting ready for our big retreat on Catalina Island. Some of you who are going um, are going to be seeing this. And, uh, and Leslie, my love to you. We know that you can't come this year, but, um, but I know that you are going to heal and be there with us next time. So that's a message going right out to you. And uh, as I said, I'll answer your text in a moment. Okay, so uh, love to everyone. Have a fantastic weekend, and uh, we will see you next week. And we'll have some people staying here from the retreat, so we're going to do um, a group uh, a group experience. And Leslie, come on over next Thursday at noon, and we'll uh, you can join the, the group and be part of that. All right, so that's it for today. See you later. See you next week.